You're listening to the Water Cooler Edits with Chris and Rich. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Water Cooler Edit. This episode is another festive one because, of course, it is the new year. Well, the new year is in a couple of hours, but it is the new year, and where have the past 12 months gone? I have honestly no clue. As always, it's myself, Chris, and Rich is alongside me because he couldn't escape this festive episode either. Hey, man, how you doing? Yeah, I'm all right, but uh, I do kind of miss not having the sweaters on. Yeah, no, jump, no jumpers one. this time, huh? I, uh, it's, I'm not going to say it's cold in here. It's a little bit chilly. It's been a little bit chilly in the office as well and outside. Mm-hmm. Winter has finally arrived in middle of December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it. <laughs> it's nice. I can drive to work with the windows down, and it's about 20 degrees centigrade. I've got to put on socks in the morning because the floor is cold. So Yeah, the weather's pretty special at the moment, right? It's finally arrived. Yeah. You know, all this We're time. A bit of rain floating around as well, there's been. Oh, yeah, we had a... Was a couple of weeks ago we had a shower that was literally two seconds long. It the clouds were grey, the sky was darkening, and then it just little tiny spits from the clouds so above, so and then it became sunny again. Yeah, so it was spitting for a couple of seconds, and yep. that's it. Yeah, and that still called it still caused the anarchy on the roads, panic, panic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous when it rains; it just gets so exciting on the roads, doesn't it? But that's besides the point because in a couple of hours we'll be celebrating the new year. It's 2023 already. Seriously, where are the past 12 months gone? And of course, well, we decided to share with you our New Year's resolutions because every year I kind of have them and I'm always thinking, oh, what should I do this year different? Well, you know what? I want to go back to my New Year's resolution of 2020 before everything happened. Yeah. And that, of course, is to learn how to surf. Woohoo! I've finally got a car that's big enough to put a surfboard on the roof. I mean, any car is big enough anyway but this one i can actually put the surfboard inside of the car do you have a surfboard i do not have a surfboard okay now the next question is do i know how to surf at all no i've never stood up on the top of a board ever in my life okay i've I've skateboarded but i've never surfed before skateboarding well there might be a roughly similar skill set apart from the fact that one's on land one's on the ocean the ocean so uh look i can see you as a surfer dude mate yeah I think I'll grow my hair out again. But do you, do you think there's a chance of this coming to fruition? Or do you think we're going to be sitting here this time next year we having your New Year's resolution of learning to surf, surf like again? Time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? I really, I really, really want to do this because it's just... I've always loved it. I've, I've always loved surf culture as well. And I think it's time now to do it. And I've seen there are a couple of schools around here that will teach you how to do it. But the only thing is I've got to get up at the crack of dawn. But I mean... Maybe yeah, learn how to surf. So be it. Yeah, there are good places to surf here. We've got blogs on the um, articles on the blog, I should say, on my bay about um, places you can paddleboard, places you can surf, the best places to do so, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So the opportunity is there. Basically, what I'm saying is, you have no excuse. I don't get do out I. there. Stop riding those waves, Chris. Yeah, I guess I should. I guess come January 1st, 2023. I'll be sitting even, on the beach watching you laugh. Um, yeah, thanks. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I'll, I'll be sat there surfing, be like, yeah, dude, look, check me out of the waves. And then I'm just going to like tumble off and then like probably Stack never see get washed out to shore and I'll be gone. Yeah. <laughs> or, they'll, or I'll wash up and people go, oh, look, a beached whale. I'm like, oh, oh, sad. <laughs> yeah. You have a wetsuit on and stuff as well, don't you? That's I'll probably it. still look like one though. <laughs> Maybe a sea lion. Yeah, do we? No, we don't get those around here. So I guess it'd be a rarer sight as well. <laughs> Pretty cool. The other thing I've always wanted to do as well is learn a secondary language. I mean, technically, I should speak two languages with my ethnicity, but uh, I never really got around to learning it. I know bits of it here and there, and I've lived here a long time as well. So I should really pick up two languages. But I think the main thing for me would be to learn how to surf. Rich, what about you? Can I just ask you quickly, right? So if you did learn a second language, what mm. would your second language be? What would you be your the first the, your first on your list? Well. One of them would have to be German, as it is technically one of my mother tongues, and the yeah. second one would obviously have to be Arabic. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Fair uh, not something too fairly complicated, but it would be nice to learn the two languages. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I can see you being multilingual. This time next year, you're going to be multilingual. Languages all over the place. This is going to, re- this is going to age like milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Um, right, so my New Year's resolution, I've got two. Okay. Uh, I've got one really, really geeky one. Okay. And one achievable one, which is a bit of a cop out. It's an easy one. So you're going to learn how to make a surfing video game. Obviously. And then you're going to learn how to surf. Ab- absolutely. Absolutely. That's so we can it. do it together. Yeah. Yeah. We can, we can, we can learn together. We can, we can make complete force of ourselves <laughs> to get together and potentially drown. Oh yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, no. So what, 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 so first I'll give you the geeky one first. Uh, 
No, I want the, I want the second one first. The All less right. geeky one. Right, so the less geeky one is, like, so I've lived here, so it'll be over 10 years now, just over 10 years. I've been to six of the Emirates. I haven't been to the seventh. What's the one that you haven't visited yet? I haven't been to Fujairah. Wow. So. That was the second one I went to and even lived there for a while. Really? Yeah. I mean, been, then again, I've been here for 26 years, so. <laughs> you, I take it you've been to all of them. You have, yes. Yes, right, there you go. I've, so, I've been to all of them, but I've only lived in four of them, I think. Only I four? You've only, only lived in four? Rack, of them. Omar Quain <laughs> and Abu Dhabi, I don't think I've lived in. Yes, those are the three. Yikes. Yeah. Well, I've lived in one, Dubai, but mm-hmm. obviously I've been to Rack, as you know, quite a lot. A lot of um, head down to Rack on quite a regular basis. But yeah, I've always wanted to go to Fujairah. That will complete the set for me. Another po- an article on the blog about staycations in Fujairah. So I'm thinking that's got to be on the list this year. It'd be kind of nice to try and do all seven Emirates in one, one year, if maybe if I could fit them all in. But that's a lot of staycations, right? That would be very cool. But I, I'd highly suggest uh, when you go to Fujairah, do you like snorkeling and things like this? Yeah, I don't know, but you could say Snoopy Island. Yes, 100%. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. We used to, when we were kids, we used to walk there in the middle of the night when the, the tide was low. So we'd walk across and then it'd be rocks and then we'd end up cutting our feet because we wouldn't wear shoes when we go across. <laughs> so if you go in there, make sure you wear shoes. Yeah, it's kind but of it's, honestly, a nice it was, childhood memory. I think yeah. you're gonna have a single, single tear running <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was, it was some of the, the best uh, experiences of my life growing up here was nice. Snoopy Island. And there'd always be this person that would somehow be able to climb Snoopy Island. And we'd always look at them and go, oh, we want to do that and figure out, wait, how did you do that? Yeah, that and person wouldn't be, be me, I can tell you that. But yeah, I know, I know what you mean. When you go to certain places, you see these people who are almost like a monk, like Spider-Man-like yeah. in their ability to scowl like but natural, uh, natural I, monuments. I highly recommend that you go down there. Oh, I'll check it out, man. Yeah, so Fajero is very much on my list for this year. Um, and the, the geeky one is along the lines, look, loads of people um, want to learn languages for, you know, days. and as I say, you know, you, you can learn everything here. You can learn French, Spanish, whatever. As a game, we've got articles related to all those things on the blog. But we, have, we don't have an article related to this. Are I want to learn. Are you going to write the article? This is so geeky. I would write it, actually. <laughs> I want to learn the Star Wars language of Orobesh. Oromesh. It's the main language of the Star Wars galaxy, but you know, it's really, it's kind of okay. simple. It is our alphabet, but each letter has a specific symbol. So A has its symbol, B has its symbol. If it's the Star Wars official language of the galaxy, yeah. does that mean every movie so far, every TV series is dubbed in English and they're actually speaking? Yeah, obviously they've been speaking Oromesh all this time. Okay. Yeah, and then it voiced over in English, yeah. Yeah, they speak Orobesh. No, I don't know what it sounds like. Though. Okay, you do, so yeah. you can't say something for us now, can you? Well, no, this is the thing. It's a written language, so I'm not oh, sure how okay. it comes out. As, so you don't uh, have to speak it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I presume there is. Maybe there is a way. I don't know. I could imagine there's, there must be some vocal part to the language. Yeah, I would have thought so. But it, but yeah, so that if you watch like uh, Andor or stuff like that, you'll see Orobesh everywhere. And I just thought it'd be kind of cool in a massively geeky way for me to be able to understand some of that stuff. So the other thing I want to ask you, Rich, is what are you doing tonight? Because obviously... This is coming out during the daytime. And yeah. while we are filming it then, we're going out afterwards. You, I know I said that I was going to go to Top Golf, but uh, unfortunately I couldn't get tickets in time. Okay. So that's a big downer. Uh, not sure if we're going to go anywhere else. I think the desert might be an option because it's nice and cool. You get a great view of the fireworks, especially if you go in a half desert as well, because you can see just past Outlet Mall, you can see Global Village, you can see the Burj Khalifa, and you can see another one. So you've actually got three sets of fireworks to watch at any given time. Yeah, it's really, and uh, the, the fireworks, stargazing as well. Some people like it, usher in the new year, gazing at the stars yeah. out in the desert. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it, actually? I have to say, I'm not doing any of those things, but... Are you staying <laughs> that, at home? Are you <laughs> going home after this? <laughs> Basically, look, I'm now of an age where I, uh, my, my New Year's Eve's have become less... Uh, well, you're only 25. I, I, yeah, thank you very much. It is, it is. Uh, it's 26, actually. I need, to oh, be honest. I need to be honest. The I used to go out and, yeah, you know, we'd have a lot of fun on New Year's Eve. Now I take it a little bit more easy, but that's not to say that there still won't be a party element to this evening, even if that party element 
is in my apartment. If you're looking for any last minute kind of ideas for New Year's Eve, check out the My Baby blog because of course there is plenty of uh, things to do. There is actually a lot to do. There's a lot of free things to do out there as well. I mean, watching the fireworks is free. Going in the desert is free. And plus you get some phenomenal views of just the fireworks, the stars, and you can enjoy time with your family and friends without spending a whole lot of money. Oh, but yeah, this is true, man. And it'll be the drone show as well, right? So the, um, the DSF drone show um, has been running for over a month now, and it will be it will be happening tonight. It's happening every night, seven and ten p.m. Blue Waters Island. So that's supposed to be people love that. Absolutely Wait, so that advert it. is real then? The one that has the drones moving around? Yes. Oh, I thought it was post. <laughs> I honestly thought it, it looked too good to be true. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. I didn't realise they were actually well, doing I'm presuming it. it. You know, it is actually, I'm presuming that's actually, I don't think they've enhanced it in any way. I think that is the real deal. And I cannot believe it's DSF already. Yeah, DSF is here. It's in, it's moving along. We've got a guide on the, on the blog. Um, and there's a whole lot of stuff to going on to be one. There's bargains all over the place. And um, on the rare occasions I go to a mall, um, I'll be checking out the DSF so you're not like stuff. Me. You know, I'm not. I'm in there every time looking for the good deals. How often do you go to a mall? I mean, on, on, on like a normal week, how often? I would probably say at least two or three times. Oh but, my I always, god! I always go to the no, same no, no. shops, though, right? Because I'm always looking out for games. Because I'm yeah. I want to. You know, I love. I love how everything has gone online, but at the same time, it's the thrill of finding a bargain in somewhere that you wouldn't have expected it to be, or finding something that you wouldn't have expected to be on sale. That's what, you know, it's that kind of thrill. I know it sounds really weird, but... I get it. I get it. it, it it's something kind of clinical about shopping online and there's a kind of uh, surprise factor. When exactly. You're, yeah, I can, yeah, I can understand that, especially considering with your games collection and all that. Maybe the next New Year's resolution, or I should really add an additional one here, is to stop buying so many games a month. Yeah, but that's even less likely to happen than the surfing. Oh, I got that reminds me. I've got to tell you, I've, I've bought something very ridiculous that I'll tell you after this. I want to know now. Yeah, now no, you, I'm not uh, telling you... you now. No, I'll tell you. It's Halo themed. Both of them are Halo themed. Yes. Okay. So uh, it kind of goes along with what you were you were telling me before about your um, venture into Xbox territory. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Which is which is which is imminent. That, maybe that should be my New Year's resolution. Buy Maybe. myself an Xbox Series X. Yes, do it. 100%. That's what all resolutions should be. Presents to yourself, 100%. I think. <laughs> Did you not get one for Christmas? What was it, last week? No, I didn't actually. No, someone someone didn't do their job, did they? Yeah, Secret Santa in the office. Is yeah, not good, it? not good enough. I can't believe that gift I got. Yeah. <laughs> not what I expected at all. Thanks. <laughs> And that's an end to this episode of the Watercooled Edit with My Beaut. And of course, you want to learn more about what we've discussed here. Okay, maybe some things might not be available, like the Star Wars language. Uh, you can, of course, check out the My Beaut blog, which is beaut.com forward slash My Beaut. Happy New Year 2023. Why not tell us what you're doing this new year? What are your resolutions as well? And if you've got anything exciting, maybe another last minute idea of where to go, let us know, because we're always looking out for other alternatives. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next year. You're listening to the Water Cooler Edit with Chris and Rich.